here tonight. We've got congregations over down the mountain here. We've got Fred Lamar tonight. I'm just doing that from Bloom tonight. I'm dying at the bloom tonight. Probably Mother Lee, Prophet James, Prophet Son tonight. They can pay that for his wife tonight. The ministers in training tonight. All the saints that are here. One by one and name by name. All the way down to the children. Amen. Leave it away out. We thank you for you to offer blessings all and your mercy and your compassion on the day. We stay up and I there's no faith in God. We thank God for all the benefits He did it over to. Amen. Each and every day. Amen. To our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He's rich and free to give us all the things. We thank God for that grace He granted to us. Because His grace is sufficient. Yes, it is. And we thank God that great love He had for us all. Amen. I send His only begotten Son to give His life and shed His blood to attain eternal life for us. Thank you, Jesus. And we thank God for Jesus being you know, obedient to the death of the cross Amen. to take what we have today. Amen. Eternal life to receive the present gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Maybe us the children of the Most High. Amen. And we thank God for that. Amen. We thank God He still reigns on the just and on the just. That He knows respect the person. We should thank God for His truth. To say, if I do not truth, God worries you too. And you've been taught, you've been heard, truth is in Jesus. Yes, and you shall know the truth, and truth shall make you free. Amen. And when the Spirit of truth comes, it's death of our name. Amen. So we thank God for truth. Amen. For no lies of the truth. Amen. And we made free from the law of sin and death through truth. Amen. And we had to see truth, we still have been out there thinking it was all right where we were. Amen. But truth came and let us know that we was undone. Amen. That we were sinners. That we need salvation. Amen. And we had to repent in order to get it. Amen. We had to go through Jesus Christ to obtain his salvation. Amen. And we heard you and obey you. We got saved. Amen. Oh, Jesus, get a hold of them to obey him. Amen. And we got to obey. Amen. And I'll receive the first gift of the Holy Ghost. We thank God he calls us for it. Amen. Made it free for us to obtain. He put a treasure in this earth and dust. And we ought to be so glad. Amen. God looked down on us Thank you. and laughed with us Thank you. and wanted us to be saved. Amen. I thank God because we all could have been lost. Amen. That was God's will for us to be known. God not let the innocent perish. All shall come to repentance. All that is to change the way you live. Change your mind and heart for God's word. Tell God that you're sorry. And he that thing. And then call on the name of the Lord. You call him, he'll come to you. Yes, he will. And the form of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. And you know that you're saved. No matter what you're tell you, you're saved. Amen. You tell them. Amen. Because you know God did something for you. Amen. You know that when you preach in Christ, Amen. you have a feeling that you never felt before. Amen. You have peace that you never had before. Amen. Joy that you never Amen. had before. Amen. I will call what Jesus has put into our life. I thank God I don't have to be pretending I know who Jesus is. Amen. And Jesus will know me. Amen. I thought I'd make formal claims. Mm -hmm. I won't try to impress folks. But one thing about it, it's a two way thing. Yes, it is. If you know Jesus, Jesus will know you. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't know you can bash it. Amen. I never knew you. They far from me. That's a sad thing. Yes, yes, yes. A lot of folks gonna hear that on judgment day. But don't you be one of them. Make sure you live according to the Holy Scripture. Amen. All of this trust in God is set for us to follow. And leave it right on that new heaven and new earth. Amen. We're in there in the rushes of God. 
We know we're the last leave of days. The word of God must be fulfilled. He said, many false prophets, they're going to come in his name. He promised they're going to see many. And they're going to see the many people. And they're saved when they're not. That old, bad, and good ways are no longer in effect. You can do something new now. Outside of God's word, see you'll be saved. But that's not so. We serve an unchangeable God. God has popped him in the chain. And God's word is seldom in heaven. No end to it, no taking from it. He let heaven earth pass away. For one dollar I have no cross on the teeth. Fear right. from his word. Right. So that let them know how important his word is. And we come to the word. Ain't no change, ain't no getting back from it. It's just God's holy and sanctified word. Right. We will believe and obey it or we don't. Right. But it's not change. The word comes to change us. Right. Not by trying to change the word. Right. Folk want y'all to change the word to let the word change them. I thank God I heard the word. The word picked my heart and I obeyed the word. Amen. And I'm saved tonight because of the word. Amen. Because my obedience to the word. Mm -hmm. And I believe the word. Amen. And did what the word told me to do. Amen. And I have been a moment That's right. since I've been saved. Amen. Well, I have somebody in hell. Well, I got saved. Amen. I have a relationship with God. Amen. I have eternal life. Amen. I have peace that passes all on the sin. I have the joy of the Lord. And I got love for everybody. Well, I didn't have no love for no everybody before I got saved. Amen. I hate the white folk. Won't take much of you. You don't want one of them. But love come in and got rid of all that. I'm a son by their soul. Amen. I want them to be saved. Amen. If you still got hate in your heart for white folk and all that, you better go back to the office. Because that love hasn't been perfected. It don't matter what they do to you. It's what you do to them will affect your salvation. That's right. That's right. I ain't worried about what he did. Back in my slavery time, I went back there. Amen. I thought what he did, he did, he did nothing to you with that. They quit lying. <laughs> they did your forefathers and mother, but they did nothing to you. Sure. If what they do to you now, you've got the Holy Ghost, you got a little cover. you got a blessing to pray for them. That's right. For they are their father to them. Amen. They know exactly what they were telling them to do. Right. And we are God, and we got to do what God tells us to do. That's right. And that's love. Amen. Without condition. Mm -hmm. Some folks love folks on condition. Mm -hmm. As long as you're doing this for me, as long as you're doing that for me, oh, without right. love. Once you get done, mm -hmm. ain't no love no more. Right. Some folks try to buy love. You ain't buying no let your money run out. See what happened. They gonna find somebody else. Give them what they want. Give them what they need. But when it comes to Jesus, that love is free. Don't cost us anything for God to love us. And he put love in us and we can love him back. And love everybody like God. Love everybody. Amen. And we thank God for that. Amen. If you got the Holy Ghost, love came with it. Amen. Now, if you ain't loving, that means you ain't disobedient. That means you is sin. Amen. You can be all the dust out of the car you want to. <laughs> Run around, get loud all you want to. But if you ain't loving like the scripture said, you ain't disobedient, you ain't sin. What you're doing, you're rejoicing in the nigga. And God not pleased with that. If we love God with all our mind, heart, soul, strength, and being, there's nothing going to come between us and God. Also, I let nothing 
separate him from the love of God. But people didn't think separate them from the love of God. But he said, well, I love you, Lord. But love ain't something you speak. Love is something you show. Love is an action word. If you love the Lord, I will always be around the way yet. Or he ain't about it if I love him. Mm -hmm. Man, man all know that one was what they want him to be there all day long. Amen. Why did you call me today? You may call me every day. They won't know why. That's why I got six months against somebody else. You ain't called me every day. She wasn't gonna find somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jesus said, Well, you ain't. Every, every time you've been with him all the time, and all of a sudden you're slagging off of him, right. you've got to know love somehow. Amen. Right. You're falling over something else. Right. You're not first in your life. That love will throw our wax and cold. Because Nicky has gotten there somewhere. Amen. And you done left that first love. He didn't say the first love left you. That's right. You left the first love. That's right. Oh, Jesus don't leave anybody. No, no, no. I always leave him first. Amen. But he's so loving and kind, he'll take him back. Yes, he will. Everybody can adulter with the devil, he'll take you back. Amen. Amen. That is so true. He'll let that love come. Oh, yeah. A lot of folks go out and let they won't take him back. No, you can mess it up now. You ain't coming back here. Your room is locked. <laughs> I have change the locks on the door. Make sure you don't get back up in here. But Jesus ain't like that. He yeah, love you just as much as he did for you now. Take you right on back. Because he wants us to be saved. But people are not going to abuse that love. And God ain't going to put up with that too long. Because he said, you see it more sin willfully, then the more sacrifice for that sin. We can't pretend that do that, try to abuse God's love, his compassion he has for us. You're going to go one time too many, then the love ain't going to cover it. The love don't cover your sin, they own you. <coughs> we got to stay with the Lord. Yes, we bring God to open chain. Amen. And we're trying to grasp you get a hold of Kind of blood unholy thing, you know, black people get the Holy Ghost. And ain't no more salvation for you. Right. We're in the Lord, stay in the Lord. Right. What's out there in the world you want? And all the world is going to kill you. Send you to a lake of fire. But Jesus, you got a life. You got somebody that loves you, concerned about you. You're a supplier of me. You can talk to him anytime, day or night. We're going to leave all that and go out into the world. And the world is in the God. It's all about living right and all about living holy. Amen. And there's no excuse when it comes to God. Amen. For God no respect a person. Amen. All these people have been holy for all these years. And you say, you can't do it? No, no that's you. Well, they can be done. Yes, God, living with us, it can be done. Amen. The want to has to be there. Right. The love has to be there. Amen. The beating has to be there and offer you to do this. Amen. When you love Jesus and everything, you can't get your entire way by your own love. Amen. Well, all the love belongs to him, so you ain't going to be lusting, loving nothing else but him. Amen. You totally committed out to Christ. Amen. A lot of times people ain't totally committed. Yeah, right. They have way committed. Yeah, right. And then they go on and walk off and leave yeah, Jesus. Right. Yeah. Give me Hebrew 13, 12 chapter. 12 chapter of Hebrew. Wherefore, sin we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Wherefore, sin we also are compassed about what? So great a cloud of witnesses. We're surrounded by people. When you say I'm saved, 
sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I got saved, man, and I got filled with the Holy Ghost. They started watching me. From that moment on, they started watching me. Oh, you said that they, they didn't get confused. I don't think they were doing it. They didn't do nothing different. But when you said that, the whole neighborhood, they watched me. You step out there them days and do something. <laughs> and I thought they were saved. They were doing that yesterday. <coughs> no, because they don't even supposed to step out there and dress according. Because right. you don't make mistakes. And they hear you hooping and hollering, cussing at them children. Oh no, they know you ain't saved. Amen. Bless the curse, don't come out the same mind. Right. You God saved us from all of that. Amen. We deliver from all of that. We don't do that anymore. Amen. We don't. Because we got Jesus on this side of us. They think you're going to the cooler, picking out a sick pack. Oh no, you ain't saved. And they're going to tell folks. They ought to tell them. But they didn't say they were saved. You said you were saved. They expect you to live that way. They might need somebody to pray for them. Then you hear them the same lie. They ain't going to call you. And some going to get mad. They could have called me. Don't folks know what you did. They know you can't get no prayer out there. They know the life you're living. They might well pray themselves and call you. Well, God ain't here neither one. But they live out of God, they in my heart. God won't hear me. And they, they got that nigga out of his heart. Create me a clean heart. You do a right spirit with that man. But he know he wasn't right, he couldn't get a prayer to so he been been to God, and God do something for him. Yeah, that's right. So he can get a prayer to him. Uh -huh. And an answer back. Of course, if you get one too, you won't get an answer back. You gotta get it too first. Amen. You don't get the answer back. Amen. Somebody said, get a prayer to an answer back. If I get one too, I won't get an answer back. Amen. I ain't worried about that. It might take a while, mm -hmm. but I'm getting my answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Took Danny 21 days oh, when he got his answer. Yeah. Yeah. All of a sudden, like, can you get a prayer to him? Oh, yeah. you get it to God, going to answer. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We heard somebody else say that, so we started saying that. Mm. Get a prayer to the answer back. Amen. I was saying, now that's stupid. If you get it through, you're going to get out of that. All right, now. But you got to be able to get it through. That's it. Don't say that to everybody get a prayer through to the Lord. Pray for it. Amen. Don't say that out of that. Because they get one through it, they're going to get out of that. Amen. For God, answer prayer. Amen. I said, don't pick up what other folks say. Let's think on that thing first. Amen. And they will know. I ain't trying to throw off on nobody. I'm trying to help you. If they get a prayer through, they're going to get an answer back. Amen. Problem is, folks folk can't get it through, so they ain't getting no answer back. <laughs> well, they did a life God said, there won't be no problem. Because Jesus said, Father, I know you always hear me. Mm -hmm. He knew that because of life he was he said, I pray to the Father for you. And you know he's going to get an answer back. Then we're going to pray in his name. Because he's going to get an answer back. But we try to bypass and go straight to the Father. You ain't getting nothing. Your prayer ain't getting to it here. Because you didn't go through the meeting. You didn't do it according to the Holy Spirit. I thought I'd get some I've been doing that for years. You've been wrong for years. Mm -hmm. That's the way the scripture said do it. You think you're going to go against God's word? If he, Jesus said, What have you got the Father in my name? There's one God, one way, three men in God. That's the man Christ Jesus. He did not honor the Son, honor the Father. And you think he's going to go not honor Jesus and run to the Father? People need to tell the scriptures. Jesus told us how to pray. And all we got to do is follow his instruction. Not what we hear other folks say, but what the scriptures say. So we'd be right before God. 
He ain't doing something with grace of God. We have to follow in my name. That's what works. Not your way, but God's way. Because your ways are not my ways. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. This prayer according to the Holy Spirit is not according to what we hear somebody else say. A lot of folks, they picked up what they heard years ago and they got it going. Mm -hmm. Nobody took time to go in the Holy Scripture and see what Jesus said about praying. Okay. You're the one who's praying. You're praying to Jesus. Okay. He didn't tell you how to pray to him. You don't pray the way he said you. You're in disobedience. He ain't hearing you. Okay. And instead of praying to God, then you're disobedient in your prayer because he ain't hearing you either. Because okay. disobedience is sin. Right. Thank you, Jesus. It's written right there, plain and simple, right there. Yeah, yeah. Plain and simple. Yeah. Well, folks ain't studying, that's the problem. Yeah. Folks ain't being taught, that's the problem. Yeah. My people being destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah. They ain't being destroyed. But yeah. well, some folks, they just rebellious. Yeah. They just won't conform to how they grown. That's pride. God was just proud of grace to the home. You got to humble yourself and say, I was wrong. I thank you, Lord, for enlightening me. For showing me the way. But they won't do that. They get upset. They ain't going to tell me what God going to tell you what to do. He told me to tell you. So that's what I'm doing. I didn't write nothing in, in, in the 66 books. I have nothing to do with it. And we're before our time. Yes. We need to pray to come to the scripture, might have hope. So we gotta know when we're ready. I don't learn what we obey what we're ready. Because as the deacon Dr. Ben, what they're trying to do, make the word of God non effect. Now this is what I said do, but they're gonna follow man tradition. They're gonna follow man doctrine. So my word is non effect to them because they ain't gonna obey it. They ain't gonna follow my instruction. Mm -hmm. But we'll cloud about so great a cloud of witness. Mm -hmm. Walmart in the neighborhood. <laughs> you said that you were safe. Mm -hmm. Gas station. Mm -hmm. Wherever you go, somebody gonna know you. Mm -hmm. And if you acting up, you ain't dressed right, they gonna know that too. Mm -hmm. And they come tell you, ain't you say, don't get mad. They didn't say it, you said it. Right. Right. They make you live what you say you will. Mm -hmm. But they want to get mad at the folk. Mm -hmm. But my God might be sending the folk to you, remind you. Right. 